Mark Anthony's speech to the crowd, Julius Caesar, Act Two, Scene th Act Three, Scene Two. Sorry. <clears throat> Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is often tethered with their bones, so let it be with Caesar. Noble Brutus. The noble... Sorry, if you don't mind, I'd like to start again. It's nothing like I did it in the mirror this morning. Sure it wasn't. That'll do. Thank you. Why don't you use your own voice, Ma? You've got that lovely northern You wouldn't let me. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. Excuse me? Sorry. Excuse me, who are you? Brian. Brian Lane. You, you're not on my sheet. No. No, I wouldn't be. <laughs> well, do you know the speech? Certainly do. Known it since I was 12 year old. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is often interred with their bones. So let it be with Caesar. What cause withholds you then to mourn for him? O oh, judgment, thou art fled to brutish beasts, and men have lost their reason. Bear with me. My heart is in the coffin there with Caesar, and I must pause till it come back to me. Sorry, I was back in Hadley Grammar School there for a minute. That was great. That was, uh, I loved what you did with the regional accent. Thanks very much. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, listen, Brian, I know you're not on my list, uh, but you showed us more passion and emotion in five minutes than we've seen all week. There could be some smaller roles. If you fancied having a crack at it, think about it and uh, we'll call you. <laughs> 